I'm here with another video, and this today I'm going to show you how to fix the Lima and Dragon. Like, I know there's a lot of people who are just disliking these videos. Um, these type of videos are going to get disliked a lot. Well, actually, but I just ignore these dislikes. Well, actually, some kids make these kind of videos how to fix it, but they get so much hate. But the, the way I don't know what to say, but as you can see, well, you, well I don't know, but if you can see properly, I have. Currently 26 FPS. Uh, so we're in grid map, as you can see, we're in grid map. And all you need to do is uh, literally just uh, download. I don't know what's called again, but but how I got those all these FPS correctly, I don't know how I got all of them correctly, but. Here's a little test gameplay, and as you can see, I'm getting 27 FPS. Oh yeah, I just crashed. Um, so yeah, the way to get to fix this, all this is, I know everyone will actually, this this video just is the exact same. This is, yeah, I know this is, this is the easiest way to fix all of it. I know, cause this is the easiest way to. I know every every YouTuber just keeps doing this to how to fix it. Like you just literally just turn off the options down and that's it. But I recommend well turn all these off except for anti-aliasing because you do not want to turn off anti-aliasing. But although it cause a little bit a few decrease FPS, yes, just look. I know you cannot see probably because my high quality is really bad. As you can see, it's a little bit crafty. Just keep that on, please. Keep that on. And make sure you turn off the shadows as well, because the shadows cause a lot of FPS. And as you can see, I'm still getting 27 FPS. Although this might not help, you know, and make sure you turn off these two, because if you don't, uh, the game will be constantly lagging. As you can see, I'm still gaining 26 to 28 FPS, I'm getting. Uh, the way to get rid of all this lag is... Well, the way to get rid of this lag, well, actually, this might not, this, although if people watching this, this might not work for all of you. The way to, like, get rid of it is by, hold on, I'll get it on, is by, hold on, if I can get my files, you know, if, if this could work. Hold on, sorry for this, I need to, uh, If it's, if it's correct, isn't it? Download TCP Optimizer. It is safe. But although, we'll also download GeForce, which that's another way. This will actually, this, this can actually high quality your, in, this can help you, this can actually increase your internet connection. Make it really good. And it's been, if you have really bad quality and the game is like, you have bad internet connection. So yeah, make sure you download this. I don't know if I'm putting this in the description, but make sure you download this. Well, actually, you don't need to download this. Well, actually, if you have a good computer, you you don't need to download this. Because this thing can actually increase your internet connection. It makes it good. So, in b Drive, I have the same thing. It what, I, I gain a little bit more if FPS, you know. Well, yeah, I do gain more FPS. Okay, that was weird. I didn't even do that full screen thing where I just so you can see here's a little gameplay with all this FPS. Hold on, quality, hold on. No, there we go. Hold on, what is So as it oh uh this is this is uh this just doesn't make me happy right now. Um so yeah in grid map um so the way, the best way to get rid of all this lag and stuff like that in BeamNG Drive is just simply uh, download something called GeForce. Well, actually, I told you to download down TCP Optimizer. I think that's how you say it correctly. And then the game will not be like this. Trust me, one hundred percent. Well, actually, it will be a little bit laggy though. Although, I need to, also I need to show you something. Also. If you didn't realize, how do I, how do you, also people are saying like this, how do you free fly? You click F8 on the keyboard. And you need to be fine. And of course, it's going to be a little bit hard with the phone just hand. 
Oh, the problem is, the thing is, once, once you free fly, if you look up or down, let's get see, I'm getting to see just the skies and getting like that. But look at the FPS counter. I'm getting 35 to 36 of FPS. Yeah, so every time because you can, the game can increase more FPS if you look up or down in grid map. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why it increases like that. But that's the way to like get it to make it more FPS. This is. See, I don't know why it's not constantly lagging so hard. I don't know why it's because my first time playing this game. Uh, my first time playing this game. I had this problem with the lag. As you can see, I'm continuing to play and constantly. Although, I don't know why, because my computer is not that potatoed. It's, my computer is potato. My, my computer is potato. Yeah, it's potatoed. Yeah, my computer's a potato. But not that potato-ish. It's not, my computer's not that potato-ish. So, yeah. Okay, so, for, for people who have, like, really good computers, make sure you put it on high. If you're, if game is using, but if you have a, a little bit of potato PC, just put it on low quality. And if you have potato PCs, put it on lowest. And if you have really, really potato PCs, I recommend you turn off anthologization, which turn off anthologization is just disgusting because the graphics look terrible with the game. And oh my god. But this might be a 10 minute recording. Because, as you can see, we're. But although, if you guys are watching this, but I recommend you download the KCP optimizer. I don't know if this will work. I think I'm gonna end the corner right here. Bye bye.